afternoon. Dear colleagues, today I would like to present you our work that is uh, focused on strategies to improve the performance of the gene immunogen, including the antigen retar retargeting. And the um, uh, object in our work is the reverse transcriptase of HIV. Uh, in many uh, uh, clinical studies, the, uh, uh, many DNA vaccines, um, they included the gene of reverse tra transcriptase, and in many of them, its immunogenic performance was quite low. And um, so the, our, our, the goal of our work was uh, to, to try to increase its immunogenicity. Uh, and uh, all our studies, we, uh, we started from uh, <coughs> uh, making the DNA constructs, and then we tested, characterized them in a cell culture, and then we did the mice immunization experiments. So when we started our <coughs> Uh, experiment with the viral gene of RT of the clade B that was cloned into the non-commercial vector under CMV promoter and HPV poly-A signal. Then we characterized this uh, construct in the cell culture. We found that the RT is uh, cytoplasmic, localized in cytoplasm of the cells, uh, and expression of this protein in the cell is on, the quite, on a very low level. However, we also characterized that, that RT is a very long-lived protein and degraded very slowly in the cells and mostly by, by the proteasomes. Uh, when we tested the, this uh, DNA immunogen in the mice, we did the uh, mice immunization. We immunized mice three times and performed the immunosays uh, uh, after that. And we, f we found that RT was also as individual, this DNA immunogen very weak. Uh, it was uh, <coughs> we can found the, uh, we can see only very weak interferon production that was measured in ELISPO test, ELISA test, and also it was we found that production by CD8 cells, uh, production of interferon gamma was mostly by CD8 cells and less than uh, for CD by CD4 cells. Also, we, we tested the, uh, have, we didn't found, uh, we have found very weak IL-2 production, IL-10, IL-10, and IL-4 production. However, we have detected quite uh, high uh, TNF-alpha production by, uh, uh, by the RT gene. And the titers was also quite low, and the, the type of the uh, IgG, the IgG titers, IgG1 titers were, were higher than IgG2A. So uh, when we had this quite poor immunogenic DNA uh, plasmid, we tried to apply different approaches. Uh, and we started, uh, 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 the first we started to we tried to modify this antigen and we tried uh, the, tr the intracellular retargeting strategy. First, we try to target their T2 proteasomes to enhance the MHC class 1 presentation. For, for this, we try the, to fuse, to, to make a chimeric protein, RT with the fast degraded by proteasome protein, and we use the orientine decarboxylase protein. Um, uh, we test, then <laughs> we generated this DNA constructs, and we tested them in the cell culture, and found that the protein expression level decreased of, uh, for these chimeric proteins. However, the degradation rate was uh, higher as compared to non-modified RT, and the degradation was increased by the proteasome. When we tested these constructs in, the, in mice, we found that we can find increase, some increase in interferon gamma production, uh, especially by CD8 cells. Uh, we also have an increase in IL-2 and IL-10 production. Uh, however, the TNF alpha decreased, and also the titers of I, the IgG titers was also decreased. And however, for these modified uh, uh, RTs, we can detect some IgA uh, uh, antibodies. Also, when we worked with RT, we worked with the RT with um, mutation of drug resistance. And when we tested them in a the cell culture, we found out that um, 
uh, RT with, with, the, with this kind of mutations, they degrade it faster in the cell. They're accumulated on, in the much lower level in the cells and degraded faster and degraded faster by proteasomes. So we also call this um, kind of modifi antigen modification like as a proteasome enhancing uh, approach, proteasome degradation enhancing approach. And when we tested this uh, DNA and immunogens in mice, we can show only some increase in interferon gamma production. And in this case, we, uh, the population of CD8, uh, CD4 cells uh, uh, producing interferon gamma was, was increased. And we, have, we, ha we haven't detected any changes on IL-2 and IL-10. We detected only some decrease in uh, TNF alpha production. When we try to combine these uh, two proteasome targeting uh, approaches and combine um, ODC fusion to um, RT with mutations, we couldn't detect any positive changes in its immunogenicity. Um, uh, the other approach for antigen modification is the targeting to lysosome. So first we targeted to proteasome to increase MHC1 presentation, and then we tried uh, the targeting to lysosome for en enhancing the MHC class 2 presentation. For this, we used uh, two short signals. First one is the glyce glycine alanine repeats uh, that can target uh, pro uh, proteins uh, to lysosome through the outer phagosomes. And the short and the second signal was the signal of targeting of, of uh, tr uh, transport of invariant chain of MHC class 2. So we fuse, uh, added the signals to RT, uh, and we found, uh, so, and when we tested it in cell culture, we found some increase in protein accumulation in the cell, some changes in the uh, intracellular uh, distribution of the proteins, and so, uh, also with uh, the degradation part and, uh, degradation part and of these proteins uh, was also uh, changed. Then we tested again in, in mice, and this test, uh, uh, in this test we found that uh, we found increase in interferon production quite high and IL-2 and positive effect. Some, we can also detect some IL-4. And also the titers of IgG titers were, uh, were increased. However, then we decided this, we saw this positive effect for MHC class 2 present, uh, targeting. And we also uh, uh, <coughs> tested the quite well-known uh, fusion uh, with uh, the, pro, uh, the lysosome associated protein 1 lamp that was shown, uh, uh, can, this fusion shows quite positive effects on immunogenicity. Uh, and we tested it for RT. And we uh, also found that for this, this, that these fusion proteins uh, accumulated in the cells on the, um, uh, on the very high levels. The, so the level of accumulation was almost 10 to 15 fold higher than unmodified RT. We have clearly detected the change of uh, um, <coughs> localization of the chimeric protein. And we're very happy to see quite a uh, dramatic increase in immunogenicity of this chimeric, uh, uh, immunogenicity of these chimeric proteins when they injected by, is it, as a DNA immunogens. We can, uh, detect almost 50-fold increase in interferon gamma production, mostly by CD8 cells, uh, CD4 cells, sorry. Uh, also, we have a very high, high increase in IL-2 production. For, we also have positive effect for TNF-alpha and increase in titers IgG, either uh, IgA. So, and uh, to su summary, so, uh, for these targeting uh, strategies, I would say that uh, this, for RT, the most effective was uh, the, the fusion with, with the lamp. Um, then we moved, uh, moved on and we tried to optimize the route of delivery of our DNA immune gen and the role of electroporation. For this, we tested our DNA immunogen in mice, and we injected 
uh, this DNA intramuscularly of, or intradermally. Uh, and all this injection were uh, followed by electroporation. Then we monitor, we did only one injection and we monitor the immune response after three weeks of the, after the immunization. And we found out that the single immunization with the 20 uh, micrograms of uh, DNA into uh, either intramuscular or intradermally, uh, followed by electroporation, is able to induce the same cytokine production as three intramuscular injections of uh, RT DNA. However, the antibody titers, just the antibody titers, were fivefold less as compared to three times immunization. For our team uh, as a DNA immune gen, as we found out, that, as was said in the Stefan Petkov presentation, there was no uh, dramatic effect for immune genicity for RT uh, when we did uh, compare intradermal to intramuscular injections. Uh, the next uh, step of optimization of our uh, gene immunogen was the update of the vector. So we moved to the commercial vector of PVEX that, uh, <coughs> that, have, that has had another poly-A signal and another antibiotic uh, 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 for resistance. Uh, uh, and uh, also we did the codon optimization of the RT gene uh, since we uh, saw the very good effect of the increased the protein, uh, protein accumulation in the cell on the effect of the protein level of the protein expression on the immunogenicity. And we, for this, uh, this contract uh, in the new vector and optimized by the by codon, uh, they expressed in the cell on a much higher level, almost 20-fold higher than non-modified, uh, non-optimized uh, gene. And then we tested them in mice. Uh, we did only we did intradermal uh, injection, one injection, followed by electroporation, and we could see that the, we can see the high increase in interferon gamma IL-2 production almost in 20 folds. Uh, also we can, and the very dramatic uh, uh, increase in IgG titers. So the, here, this IgG titers increased almost in 100 fold. And also we can detect the Ig, uh, for only for these constructs, uh, we were able to detect IgA in very high titers. Uh, also, for these optimized constructs, we were able to detect the perforin and granzyme secretion. Um, so, and in conclusions, uh, I would like to say that when we, so uh, to summary, that for reverse transcriptase, the most important was uh, to increase the uh, level of accumulation in the cell. Uh, and for this, we're very, we, we can, uh, this can be uh, gained by the codon optimization or the fusion to the lamp. And also it was very uh, beneficial to use intradermal injection followed by electroporation. Uh, and in general, I would uh, say, for example, if you have quite low, uh, quite poor immu DNA immunogen, so you can try to, uh, to, for, to significantly increase the immunogenicity, you can use the panel of uh, different modifications, such enha enhancing the expression, point mutations, and uh, some ret retargeting of processing. And by this you can make some immune response, maybe not the high, the very high immune response, but for example, you can do this balanced immune response that you can, mm, you actually want. Uh, and in the end, I'd like to acknowledge all the, uh, all the people that were involved in, uh, in this work. In, they are from Engelgart Institute from Molecular Biology in Moscow and the Ivanovsky Institute of Virology in Moscow and also the MT, uh, Microbiology and Tumor Biology Center at Karolinska Institute. Thank you.